Welcome back to Breakfast. In New Zealand, four lifestyle choices can cause four diseases that account for 90% of all premature deaths. It's crazy. But transitioning to a healthy lifestyle isn't always easy, but it's something AIA Vitality are hoping to help New Zealanders with through their health and wellbeing program. Joining me now for more is AIA's Head of Wellness, Candice Smith. Good morning, Candice. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, we do often live unhealthy lifestyles, don't we? Yep. Yeah, it's uh, the, you mentioned that those four lifestyle behaviors we mostly know. So we know that we don't eat as well as we should. We know we don't move as much as we should. I think most people now know that smoking is not good for you and that the harmful use of alcohol is also not good for you. But like you said, the difficulty is in changing them and changing those behaviours sustainably. That's where the trick comes in. I know. I keep telling myself I need to get back to the gym, but it's easier said than done, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So how do you change that behaviour? So what the uh, Vitality Program does and has done globally, so globally the Vitality Program has over 18 million members where we've proved the link between behavioural economics or incentives and behavior change and then the, the link between behavior change and outcomes on those four diseases you mentioned um, and so what we use is behavioral economics so we make it that you don't have to think about it apply your mind in your busy day to actually go to the gym um, we incentivize people and give them small some small immediate rewards um, and some longer term greater incentives, so discounts or flights, for example, to make the, the motivator for changing those behaviors extrinsic rather than putting it on you to know that you should do it and to sustainably um, achieve those changes. So through the program, people sign up and kind of prove that they're making changes in their lifestyle and, and, and living healthier. Yeah. What kind of changes are you wanting to see from people? So the important things for, for us is exactly the 4 four ninety that you mentioned a little bit earlier. So in the eating well, moving more, um, not smoking, uh, and reducing your harmful use of alcohol, as well as screening. So we have a number of assessments and screening tools so that people can um, know the status of their health. I think that's an issue with many people is that you know that you should be checked and have a health check, for example, um, and people just don't do it. So we place large incentives on people doing a health check to actually even understand where they are in terms of their health status, and then to take active steps in improving that health status. So um, walking a little bit more, we integrated with a number of devices that track physical activity and we reward people even for their steps um, and there's a nutrition assessment that then helps you we have a, a network of um, registered dietitians that then give people advice on how to eat healthier uh, we really focus on all of those those four behaviors so would unhealthy people be charged more no so the the point of uh, the vitality program is is, is incentivizing not disincentivizing um, Punishment is not something that we've, we've used very much. And I think the, the issue with that is that people then, tend, it, it's not a positive experience. Um, so in terms of looking at the carrot and the stick, we very much look at the carrots um, and make it a positive experience to make those changes. Perfect. Thank you so much uh, for well. joining us. Kendra Smith from AIA. I need all the help I can get. Yeah, we all do.